Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Um, today I'm going to be going through how you draw a structural uh, bridge um, using structural members in SolidWorks. Um, it's going to be a three-part video um, just going through step by step how to do uh, the modular parts of the bridge. Uh, so just to get started I'm going to just close that down and I'm going to start with a blank part. And so from here I'm going to go up to Weldments 3D Sketch and I'm going to start off by drawing a box um, on the top plane so if, if your box has been drawn in the wrong plane what you need to do is press tab and it will change the plane and the axis uh, what your box has been drawn in on the 3D sketch so that's the axis I want to be on so I'm going to make this box 10 meters by 1900 so 1 1.9 meters and then from there I'm just going to draw a line from the center point or the origin, making sure I'm in the right plane because I want to go down. I'm going to make that line 900. And I'm going to make that line also a construction line. So I'm going to do the exact same thing here and I'm going to draw another box underneath, make sure it's in the right orientation. So I've just pressed tab there. I'm going to make them equal. Equal and equal. So now you've got two squares, 900 mil apart, that are 10 meters long and 1900 wide. From there now, I'm going to, it's still blue, so it's not fully defined. So it's because it doesn't know what plane it's in. Of axi uh, So what I need to do is just draw this, make sure this line is drawn along the X axis, which is this red axis here. If you've drawn it slightly differently in your 3D sketch, you might have to pick a different um, axis, but mine's X. So I'll click that. And then same again for this, for your uh, width. I want it to go in the Y direction. So now that box is fully defined. So I'll do the same for the bottom one. And there. And now that's overdefined it. So let's undo that. Let's try that again. I uh, click the wrong axes, that's why. So uh, it should be along X, not Y. It's easily done. So now I've got two boxes fully defined at 900 mil apart. So this is the span of our structural bridge. So from here, in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw one half of the legs. So from here, what I'm going to do is draw a line. Um, I just press tab there in the Y, Z axes. I'm going to make it coincident with that point. So now it's done it wrong there. So it's made the end of the line coincident. I don't want that. So I'm going to undo that. Make it a little bigger. I'm going to make that coincident. So now you've got an overhang, which is right. And this overhang needs to be 100 mil. So now you've got a line sticking up. And now we want to go down seven and a half meters, so 7,500 mil, which is perfect there. So now I'm just going to copy that um, four times for each leg. So now I've got four legs, seven and a half meters long, and they're offset from the top of the structural bridge, 100 mil. So now I've got my 3D sketch. What I need to do is go up to weldments and go to structural member. So what the first one I want to do is in the BSI, so British Standard Library, and I want it to be a UB beam. So this is for the legs. So the UB beam I'm selecting is 305 by 165 by 40. So I'll just go to the 305, 165 by 40. So I'm gonna click the two legs and it's defaulted and they're in the wrong orientation. So if I scroll down here, you have the different alignments. So what I'm going to do is just rotate them both 90 degrees so they're in line with the bridge and facing the right way. So from there, I'm going to tick that. And now I'm going to go to structural members again, and I'm going to do these cross beams here first. But these cross beams, I'm not going to use a British standard uh, profile. I'm going to use a ISO standard just to show you the different libraries. And I'm going to use a C channel. And the C channel I'm going to use is 140 by 15. So let's click that and click that. So from there, what I'm going to do 
is just rotate them round 180 degrees. So now the sat at the bottom of the profile and facing in as well. So now I want to draw my cross members for this um, column leg, for this structural leg part of the bridge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing the, the plates in, the gusset plates to weld to. So what I'm going to do there is just hide this 3D sketch. So I've right clicked on it, click hide. And I'm going to sketch on the surface of the C channel. So I'm just sketching on this surface here. Just go normal to it. And what I want to do is level with the I beam face. So I'm going to click this little line here so I know where the face of the I beam is and level with this I beam face. So let's click that again. So all I've done there is converted the entities. So now I know where the face of this I beam is. I'm going to make both them lines construction lines. And from there, I'm going to draw a 200 by 200 plate to weld against. Oops, not 2,000, 200 by 200 plate to weld against. So from there as well, I'm going to put some construction lines in this box. So I'm going to just do a cross. You'll see why I'm doing that in a minute. So at the minute, they're just normal lines, so I want them to be construction lines uh, for construction. So I'm going to do copy. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is do um, two on this side and two on this side and jump back to you. So now, just to save you uh, watching me draw lines there, I've done uh, f uh, four another four boxes. So one, two, three, four. So I've got the one in the corner here, what you've watched me draw. And it, they're all the same. So all I've done is made them equal and equal. And from there, I've put, they've all got construction lines in with a, uh, with an X in the middle. So now what I'm going to do is draw a line, uh, draw a dim from the bottom of the C channel to here. And there's a method to my madness. So now that this is a reference geometry, and it's a reference dimension. So this, I can't affect change this. It won't let me change it. It's a driven dimension. So I'm going to use this driven dimension to change. So now what I want to do is do from here. Yeah, sorry. From the two top, the top of the, this square to the top of this square. And I'm going to tick that. So what I want to do is put an equation in this to, to do the calculations for me. So all I need to do is go equals, and then I'm going to click the reference dimension divided by four. Tick it. Same again for this one. But I'm going to do click the reference dimension again, and because this is the box I want to put in the middle, I'm going to let's cancel that. Sorry. Double click it, press put equals in. That's what I forgot to do just then. I'm going to do equals this dim divided by two. So now that will be bang in the middle of my strut. The reason I'm doing it like this is so if you change the height of your structural bridge, everything changes together and it's all parametrically referenced. So I'm going to do the same for this box here. So we'll just do from there to there. Then I'm going to just go equals this reference geometry divided by four and tick it. So now what I'm going to do is the last bit is I'm going to just click line. I'm going to tick construction. I'm going to go from this, draw a line from the center point of each box. You'll see why I'm doing this. So these are, that's going to be my, my struts. don't know why I came up with that error then. There we go. So from there, ex I'm going to exit the sketch and I'm going to extrude these plates now. So if I go to features, extrude, click the sketch. So now I'm going to extrude all these plates 
uh, the right way. So at the minute, I think they're going the wrong. Oops, I've lost me, lost me sketch. Try that again. Extrude. So what I want my struts to be on that side of the C bracket. So what I'm going to do is make them go the other way. So now I'm going to tick that. Um, if I put if I've extruded these plates the wrong way, it doesn't matter. I can just change it. But because um, your structural members only work off of three D sketches, what I'm going to do now is go to my boss extrude. I'm going to show that sketch. I'm going to go to click three D sketch, convert entities, and I'm going to tick that. So now that three D sketch references my two D sketch, and I'm going to use this to create my structural members. So I'll just hide my sketch there click structural members so now i'm going to go back to the british standard library and i'm going to click an rsa make an rsa angle 100 be 65 it'd be 7 click there 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 and there so now you can see my angle is sat on the plate so if you wanted a weld gap what you need to do is apply corner treatment so you can make different corner um, detail. You can also put in a mitre and, and you can also mirror the profile, but I like the way the profile's sitting. So what I'm gonna do now is click here. And what the little purple dot shows is how you want to treat the corner so you can put different mitres on different corners and different gaps. So I'm going to set a specific well gap of 20 mil there. And if you look there, there's now a 20 mil gap between them. Then you can tick it. But what you can also do is apply that well gap anyway, but I'll just quickly do it on, but set corner specific well gap 20, not 2000. And there. So now you've got your first part of your modular bridge. So if I just tick that, so it's the first leg. So just to fin quickly finish this off now, I'm going to do an extrude at the bottom for the base plate. So if I just go sketch, go normal to it by pressing Control and 8. And I'm just going to draw two base plates on the bottom of the feet. So let's go from there to there. Make that construction line. Do the same again from there to there. Make that construction line, and I'm going to put a center on it, center point on my construction line, and then make that coincident with the center of that. So I know no matter what size I make this plate, it's bang in the middle, but I'm going to make it 200 by 300. Oh, that's two, sorry, 400, not 300. So that should be a nice size bit to play. In fact, I'll put the holes in, so I'll make it a little bit bigger by 250. Then what I'll do is I'll put some holes holes in for the... So I'm going to offset my entities, uh, 50 mil, and reverse it in. Uh, 50 mil is probably a little bit too much, so what I'll do is make it 40. Tick that, and I'm just going to make a construction line. And then put four holes in as well on these dots. So 25 mil. Make them all equal. And I'm going to repeat that again on the same side as well. So now I've just mirrored it on the sketch. And I'm got so now I've exited the sketch and we go to features. Extrude, and I'm going to make them 15 mil thick, which they already are, so tick that. So now I've got the first leg of my structural bridge and the cross members as well. And if you look at the 3D sketch that we first started with, that's how we're going to go. I hope you found this little first video helpful. If you have, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing the next video next week and the final video the week after. So we're just building it up bit by bit. Um, I hope you've found this video helpful and thanks for watching.